Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. Now before we get into today's video, if you enjoy what we do on this channel, hit that like button and of course share the videos around and of course hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell to get more videos. Okay, just a quick video today guys. I just want to do, um, talk about around the world, there's different names for what they call a typhoon in the Philippines. So in, in the United States, they've got, they've got hurricanes. And in Australia, we have cyclones. Essentially, they're all the same. They're just called different names in different parts of the world. Uh, as we're coming out of the, the, the typhoon season in the Philippines, I had some thoughts around why it is that when, uh, when a typhoon hits the Philippines, generally it's uh, more devastating as far as loss of life goes and i guess the reason for that is one the philippines is very low lying it's all made up of seven thousand islands throughout the philippines so it's all very low lying so the storm surges that come in uh, from a, a particularly strong uh, typhoon is going to you know it, it's going to affect a lot more people in those low-lying areas, which which most of the Philippines is, so if you're within you know a few hundred meters of, of the ocean, you're really going to have a lot of water coming in. Now, thankfully, uh, over the years, in recent years, especially the Philippine government has, has has a good system in evacuating people, which is certainly helping a lot with the uh, more recent typhoons and and keeping people safe. But still. The other reason, I guess, is because uh, why it affects the Filipino people more is because of the quality of housing and the strength of housing is not good. In the US, for example, and in Australia, a lot of the uh, houses there are built to you know, um, cyclone or, type or, or hurricane strength uh, housing. They'll be built in such a way that they'll withstand these huge winds that come in. In the Philippines, this is not so. You know that you have a look at the, a lot of the housing in the Philippines. It's just very basic housing, and it's not uh, it's it's not going to withstand any strength of wind that comes in in in, in, the, in the form of a typhoon. So those are two reasons, the big reasons why, when you have a typhoon, for example, as they did a few years ago uh, in the Philippines, in the Visayas region, uh, where your lander hit. It was actually particularly devastating because you know you had I think somewhere around about twenty thousand people were killed, and most of that was was not even so much around the housing as such. It was a storm surge that came in, and a lot of people were trapped in their homes. So I think, as I say, I think they've they've learned about evacuating people since that time. They've been much more proactive in, in keeping their people safe. So that, that, that's just my, a few of my thoughts on it. I'd like to hear what everyone else has got to say around this as well. If you have any other thoughts on this, that'd be great to hear them. And it seems, it certainly seems that in, in uh, recent, the last couple of years, the last few years, the storms are actually getting more severe, so, um, and more frequently severe than what they ever were. And, and some people say because the ocean temperature is getting hotter or that sort of thing, which is causing more powerful storms especially around that philippines region it seems to really be getting worse each storm recently at the top of uh luzon there, no, there was a storm that came through there that was quite powerful um and thankfully a lot of people you know were, were evacuated prior to the event and loss of life wasn't anywhere near as devastating as it could have been what you know a few years ago so Certainly, in the Philippines, they're learning how to how to uh, react to uh, typhoons. They're starting to take them a bit more seriously, I guess. Now that the they are getting stronger and stronger, these storms, and they know they can't be complacent around them. So, always stay safe, guys. In the event of a typhoon, get out of the way. You know, get into safety wherever you can, and take no risks. That's my advice. I hope you found the video a bit interesting. I'd like to hear your comments around this. I'd like to get a bit of a conversation going about it if we can. So put your comments below. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button, share the video around, and of course, subscribe and turn on notification bell to get more videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.